Seriously. Just seriously still messing with the balloons. I am your boss. Of course I'm going to criticise you. Even at your own award ceremony. Turn out just like you hoped. I'm glad. So happy for you. But you planning your own award ceremony seems a little bit egotistical, you know? <laughs> oh, I know no one else wanted to do it. Since you're so good at doing the work of five or six people, I figured you'd rise to the challenge. Unlike these weak-ass balloons. Anywho. Hmm. I do love our dysfunctional little work marriage. <laughs> It truly is a delight to watch you stab at your little meals over your keyboard while the rest of us actually, you know, interact with one another. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can sit on it, Miss Steel Lady. Hmm. I need to go regardless. Apparently there was a mix-up with our room, so we might be squished into one of the suites together. How sickeningly romantic. I doubt I'll be here when you do your speech, but don't worry. I'll watch the recording later and we can go over how you can learn to speak like a proper human for next time. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure I'll choke on something at some point tonight. Or you will, on that stage. But little Miss Steel Lady wouldn't be afraid to give a speech to an apathetic audience, would she? Oh right, your dad is meant to show up. Well, he can cheer you on. Problem solved. Right. I need to get to the front counter to see if I can get you a bed with someone who can stand your presence. Good luck. See you later. And if you trip or anything, be sure to let me know. Someone must have had a nice time, hmm? How drunk are you? Silent treatment time, is it? Well, that's fine. I can wait right here with nothing but this towel around my waist while I drip water on the floor. I'm sure the cleaning crew will be super happy. Hey, pushing past your boss is a little rude, you know. Look, I don't know why they crammed us in a room together. The hotel is double booked, I guess. So how's about... I just grab the couch and... Really? Just okay? No arguing? No, what, you think I can't handle sleeping on the couch like a real man? I can take anything you throw at me. Are you okay? Did something happen at the award ceremony? Sorry I dipped, by the way. The thought of you standing up there with your shit-eating grin and holding that trophy made me want to alcohol in private. <laughs> oh, your old man made it, huh? How late? Mid-acceptance speech. Ooh. Well, late is better than absent, eh? Might just be a small, pitiful little participation trophy, but I'm sure he was proud to see... Oh, Christ. You're crying. Fuck. I, um... I didn't uh, even know you could do that. You're the steel lady around here. I always just figured your emotions looked at you the wrong way in fourth grade and you beat them to death and left them in an alleyway. What did he say to you? He told you that it didn't matter how hard you worked here, how many goals you reach, or even if you found a rich husband or whatever, because he knows you're still weak on the inside. Why did he call you weak? Too concerned with impressing men that remind you of him to be taken seriously. Wow. He's not wrong, though. 
it's true. You do so much just to try and one-up me. All because I like to tease you from time to time. You have something to prove, and it kills you that the proof just isn't there. Do you work hard? Sure, harder than most. But what, honestly, do you have to show for it? You eat lunch at your desk alone and with no friends just to come out on top. You carry the department, I won't even pretend otherwise, but you're just killing yourself out of spite. Spite for an asshole boss that just enjoys getting under your skin and motivating you to be more than just a fucking robot. You doing... Aside from throwing your lanyard on the ground casually, do I need to get the handbook so we can discuss the destruction of company property policy? No. No, why not? You quit. Wait, you, you can't just... Please, just listen to me. No, why, why not? You're done trying to impress men that remind you of your dad. 